Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra. So today we are going to get this beautiful bronzy um, goldenish look. I wouldn't really call it a golden look. Definitely bronze. It's using the Morphe 35G brand new palette that was released not too long ago. And honestly, I can say I've never done anything this crazy before. Um, I've really added a lot of shape to the eye. So keep watching and we'll get into the video. First, we're going to start off this look with the Benefit Professional Pore Minimizing Primer. And I'm using this on specifically the areas where I do have a lot of problems with pores. So on my nose, my cheek area, forehead, and a little bit on the chin. We will go in with a second primer, but I do add it to my foundation. So today we'll use the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Face Tape in the shade Medium Neutral, 35N. And we add the Too Faced Do You Luminous Face Primer in Radiant Nude. So I mix the two on the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge that is already damp. And I blend it all over the face. Gives a little bit of radiance. And then next for concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, in the shade Light Neutral. And I apply it under the eyes to get rid of the dark circles. On my lids to prime for shadow. And then the rest of the face is just for a natural highlight. So the nose, the forehead, the cupid's bow, and a tiny bit on the chin. To set the concealer down, we will use the Tarte Shape Tape Translucent Setting Powder. And you will see that I go in with my sponge to apply the powder, but I do use the Sigma F06 Powder Sweep just to make sure that there's no loose powder on my face and that my under eyes and lids are perfectly set down. So here's the shadow, or sorry, shadow, the powder application and then the small F06 brush. And then to set the rest of my face, I do use my Sigma F20 large powder brush. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but I do go off camera to do brows, so I'll tell you what we use for brows today. All Anastasia Beverly Hills products, like usually, how I, you know, how I love Anastasia Beverly Hills for my brows. I use the Brow Wiz in chocolate, the Dip Brow Pomade in ash brown, and the Clear Brow Gel. And here we go. Done and done. So this bronzer, I have not used it yet on my channel. I'm using the F30 large powder brush to apply it, and it's by Morphe. It's a mini, small size, and it's in the shade Debutante. And this I'm just giving my face an all-over bronze. But I do go in with my F40 large angled contour brush to apply my Tarte Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. So as you know, I do only have three colors left in my palette, and I'm going in with the darkest, warmer shade for this part. So I concentrate on the cheekbones and because it is a glowy bronze glam date night look, I do a pretty heavy bronzy contoured look. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm really liking the dark eyebrow. And it is so easy, I promise. Someday soon I am going to make a new brow video specifically for brows to show you the new way that I've been doing my eyebrows and I just love it. So I'm just adding a little bit of shadow underneath my jaw, added some to my nose, my forehead and temples. And I feel like I didn't have enough on my cheekbones, so this is where I went back to add a little bit more. And I'm just blending it out. So next for blush, I actually used two different types of blush today. The first one is, of course, my Dallas Blush by Benefit, because I'm in love with it. And I'm using the F10 Powder Blush Brush. And then I actually top this with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Single in the shade Feisty. And it just gives my cheeks a little bit more of a rosy glow. <clears throat> so 
So I just add it on top and a little bit on the nose and the forehead and the chin. So I'm taking my Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 palette and just using the champagne color to highlight. And this is actually not a new brush, but this is a brush that I got from the Park Ave Princess set. And it's by Tarte and it's really cute and I thought it would be perfect right now to add my highlight. It's just the right size for a highlight brush. So next we're going in with shadow. And now let me tell you guys, this palette is really, really nice. I find that the matte shades blend out super, super gorgeous. And <clears throat> this is the Morphe 35G Bronze Goals Shadow Palette. And I first go in with this lighter taupe shade with my E40 tapered blending brush just to apply a transition shade. And it is dark. This look is probably crazier than even my first bronze date night look that I've done. And I really wanted to give a shape to my eyes. So it wasn't just like a blown out smoky look. It's a specific kind of a cat eye shape. So I'm going into this more of a warmer brown now just to start defining the eye. And I believe this is the E57 Firm Shader. So you can see that I'm kind of starting to give the eye shape. And I do do some of the steps off camera only because this video would be so long for you guys if I had done every single shadow step. But if you are interested in seeing a video specifically for an eyeshadow look like this, please let me know and I can do that for you. So you will notice that I'm really sticking to the crease and I'm just kind of giving the outer eye shape but I'm not applying any of the shadow to my lid but you will see what I do shortly. So there I am singing again. Okay so I'm just using a very thin crease brush just to Define the eye just a little bit more. And I believe I did go in with a tad of a darker shade just to darken up the outer corner. And off camera, I did actually add a black to the outer corner once I've applied the black liquid liner, which you will see after I come back. So I'm just making a V shape towards the outer side of my eye. And this is really what's going to give your eye the shape. So I'm just, and blending for this look is very important. So you'll see me do a lot of it. And it's always, also always important to look into a further away mirror rather than up close, just to see if your eyes match, whether it's your eyebrows or your eyes or even your lip liner on either side of your lip, it doesn't even matter. Just always pay attention. And here I am using the E21 smudge brush to apply a darker shade of shadow to the lower lash line. I do also go in off camera and apply my liner. So I do use the Beauty For Real Eye Line in Shade Whiskey only to the lower water rim. I actually don't do the top, which I usually do, but today for some reason, I just wasn't feeling it. And then once I do apply that liner, I really blend the shadow that's on the bottom into the liner. <clears throat> so here is where I begin to add the shimmer shad shadow. Well, I really can't talk today, Sandra. Holy crow. So you'll see that I really kind of make the look more bronze by applying the shimmer shadow just to the lid. And I guess it's kind of goldy, but... I'm just going to stick to a bronze color today. It's not really gold. I don't even know why I'm so stuck on saying gold. Gold. Okay, that's it. I'm not saying it anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I'm such a nerd. So I'm just making sure that the line between the actual dark color in the crease and between the shimmer shadow and the lid that there's actually a definitive line there. I don't want it to be blended that much, but I am blending the top 
of the transition color. So here you can see that I've darkened at the outer corner. I finished blending so it looks a lot better than it did before. The inner water line is rimmed in the shade Whiskey. And here I am applying the Stila Sparkly Liquid Shadow in the shade Gold just to the bottom inner corner. And not really the inner corner, but just on the bottom. I think it just gives a little extra to kind of a date night going out look, especially if there's, if it's dark, but there's still like bright lights. It just kind of cat catches the reflection. And though, even though I highlighted with the Tarte Skin Twinkle palette, I still go in with my Mary Lou by the Balm. And I'm taking this larger pencil brush and I'm just adding a little bit of lightness to the inner corner to brighten up the look because it is so dark and I do have that dramatic dark cat eye look on the outside. So I add some to the inner corner and some to the brow bone and then of course I go crazy and I add more to my nose and my cupid spoke just because we can. And here is where I add my liquid cat eye. So I am using the Tarte Longwear Precision Liquid Liner, the Lights Camera Flashes, Lashes, sorry, in black. And I really don't take my time with this, like I'm not being super, super precise, but it actually turned out pretty good. Sometimes if you want to get a perfect line, it's easier to use scotch tape. Just apply it to the back of your hand first, so a lot of the stickiness is taken away from the oils on your hand because your eye area is super sensitive. So then once this black liner is applied, I do actually go in, <coughs> excuse me, and I add a bit more black shadow to the outer corner just to blend the line into the darkness that's already there. So next, moving on to lips, we apply this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 04 Naturel. And I'm not really outlining them dark. I just want a little bit of definition because I'm planning on a nude lip to go with the bronze eye. And again, I've used another product that I have not really focused on on my videos. And I'm using the MAC Lipstick in Creme de Nude. And I love this shade and I don't know why I don't use it more often. It blends into the liner perfectly and just gives a really pretty nude lip. And kind of at the end of the night, I did add a little bit of my Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Samantha, just because I like the look of the lip gloss. And it was really sparkly, but that was later on. Next for lashes. Here we go. So I used, of course, my Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Kiss Foam Ink Lashes in the Style Midnight and the House of Lashes Black Lash Adhesive and then Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And that is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave comments and let me know what you liked about this video and maybe what you didn't like and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done that thank you so much for watching